babies welcome to my channel or rather welcome back my name is choma as women we go through a lot you go through so much guys you have to deal with period which i really think is very 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 unnecessary but on top of those periods there are so many other things that come with it and acne is one of them guys and period acne is the worst there is nothing i hate in this world like i hate so many other things but there's nothing i hate like period acne i find it really really unnecessary why i am already going through a lot i'm already going through a lot why do i have to suffer with acne too so these are one of the things but luckily for me i've been able to control it but hormones are not something that you can scrap away that easily but with time you can be able to maintain you can be able to manage it and i've been able to manage my period acne so i'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how you can avoid getting period acne or how you can manage them even if you get them so they will not be as outrageous as they will normally be when they come like it's something that you just get rid of in three days and then you're back to normal so so make sure you watch this video to the end because my number four is the most important tip so make sure you hear that number four tip before you leave the first thing i need to tell you is you need to know your circle know your circle so that when it's coming you're ready and you can know that this is a period acne this is a hormonal acne it's easy for you to solve a problem that you already know the cause so that's the way that i say it if you need to know your circle you know your circle so when these periods come around this time of your period you can tell that this acne or this pimple was induced by this period so it's a period acne so that's the first thing that you need to know you need to know the cause of your problem so you need to know the cause of the pimple whether it's a period pimple or not second thing that you need to take into action is your hygiene during this time your hygiene during period is very very important but it's even more important when you know that there's a period acne coming or when you already have this period acne if you can avoid situations that will make you sweat unnecessary avoid them but these things are not totally unavoidable so if you know that you're going to sweat maybe after working out or after taking long walks or anything go to the shower go and shower don't lie down don't keep don't talk out your stinky self and go and lie on that bed. Stand up and go and bathe immediately or you're coming back and you have dirt on your face and all that. It's been a long day. Shower, take your bed. Very, very important. The third thing is you need to be double cleansing. You need to be double cleansing. Make sure that you're double cleansing on everything. Make sure that you're double cleansing whenever this your period times are near or whenever you can feel a period acne coming. You wash your face properly and make sure that you're using a product that has either salicylic acid, glycolic acid or retinol. These are going to help you. The fourth tip that I'm going to be giving you which is one of the most important tips is when your period is about to come or when this period acne is about to come this is the time that you need to be taking your skincare very seriously this tip has worked for me this is not the time for you to be lazy about your skincare routine if your skincare routine is a six step skincare routine and your period is coming or you know that your period acne is already there that is the time you start applying it apply those to your products your serums your everything your benzoperoxide cleansers this is the time for you to be using them you double up on them this is not the time for you to be lazy about your skincare routine use them frequently they help you to fight this battle the battle ahead is not easy so once they are using these things like when you know that your period is coming or like it's coming you can already tell that it's coming this is the time that you double up on your skincare routine start using them consistently and using every product that you need use them balance them up apply your toners apply your vitamin c's apply your wash your face properly and make sure you double cleanse wash your face with your cleansers and use a toner is important and it's definitely going to help you a week before your period the progesterone and the estrogen level of your body is high these hormones these two hormones are high and they cause the production of savings in large quantity and these savings come and then they clog your pores that's why you now have this oil and all these dirt on your face clogging your pores and as they clog your pores the next thing that is going to come out on your face is a pimple it's a process from there so you need to make sure that you're using products that unclog this pores we just like I said is your salicylic acid your retinol benzoperoxide and any of this and your glycolic acid these are going to be chemicals that will help you to unclog your pores back another important tip is get your hands off your face your period is already coming you don't need to be introducing these deaths and bacteria on your skin on your face you don't know where your hands are going to don't touch your face stop touching your face unless you feel, unless you want to wash them another thing you need to be doing is you need to be drinking enough water take enough water take enough fruits and vegetables these two things are linked at the same time as you're drinking your water make sure you're taking your fruits and vegetables they are very 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 important 
the last tip I'm going to be giving you is do not sleep with makeup on. Please don't do that. Don't do that. How tired you are, wash up, wash up. No matter how tired you are, stand up, wash your face and cleanse it. It's important that you don't sleep with makeup on your face because that is going to further clog your pores and then you end up with a pimple. And you know the next thing that follows a pimple is a dark spot. That's hyperpigmentation. So please make sure that you're taking care of your skin more efficiently at this time. Don't, don't worry, we are going to be alright. We are women after all. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. I keep forgetting to say this. Give this video a thumbs up. I need to know the kind of videos that you like me to make for you. And subscribe to me if you haven't already. Before I forget to say this, give this video a thumbs up, guys. It helps me to know the type of videos you like me to make for you. You hear me? I find it. Why? Fine, I'm going to. When you are on your. When you. When you. A week before your period, you could just turn around and just. The last tip I'm going to be giving you, you no matter how tired you are, stand up, wash your face and wash your face. No matter what, you are going to be alright. So women, your warriors, you. I'm going to remove that.